I'm all you fellow traveling men of every rank and station. And hear this short oration which as yet remains untold. You might have been an Austrian, a German or a Bulgarian. Of all my vast experience, the truth I will unfold. Well, I went to see the world's rage when only sixteen years of age. A steerage passage I engaged on a ship called the Iron Duke. We went aboard at Dublin's wall, been southward bound for the Transvaal. I had a friend from Elnaskal and one from Donnybrook. Well, our noble ship I'd scarcely seen when in my mind sad memories beamed. I thought of my dear neighbours and their loving company. I thought of my two brothers and our love for one another. And of me grey-haired mother there at home in sweet Lenly. Now a Dutchman I who admired my ways took me to see the Himalayas. And though my friends was I amazed, they're awful high to see. For those Himalayan mountain peaks are higher than the McGillicuddy Reeks. And from their summits you can see the hills of Galilee. Now this Dutchman suffered health decline, he heard of cures in Palestine, persuaded me with him combine, and along with him to go. Well, we wandered on through Java, and onward to Jerusalem, that ancient city of Hebrew, and the ruins of Jericho. When we landed in Jerusalem, the trees were blooming beautiful. It was on that same evening that we had the great earthquake. I was in me bed and sleeping sound when I woke to find things moving round. But after that I heard no sound, no pain affected me. And on the following morning, when I recovered consciousness, I wrote of all the consequence to me home in sweet Lenly.